Never mind. Act natural. Can I go to the back? Nope. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that shit? I cannot shoot. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not cause a war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the Seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. Uh, do I do something? <laughs> I don't know. Am I supposed to... Oh! So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alphite, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. Okay. All right, you sorry bitch. I know what you've done. Darn straight. Never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Idrisil seat. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Now then, tell me. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Wait, did I get out? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends.
I think Kratos knows he left. Because he saw Sinjuri and Atreus coming like almost at the same time. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? What? This must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. All right, past split like branches on the Yggdrasil. cell. I can't pronounce it. Alpheim awaits a long and difficult journey. The training ground of Nipheim holds secret rewards. Superheim may hold unfinished business. Choose carefully. So Alpheim, yeah, that's Alpheim. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Yeah, I want to see this. Niflheim. Fuck is that? Eye of Odin, the Raven Tree. What the fuck? Let's go. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar. I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. To be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Brock, what do you think about fate? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. <laughs> Alright. See. Put some herd on them. Wait, does the shield change? No, it doesn't look like a change. No, I thought it changed his looks too. Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. 
Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-lives now belong to no other. What the fuck? What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. Is Odin, like, using them without their consent? Alright, I got enough for this one. A gift of life, a gift in death, to his mother forever. The All Father's Breath. Their thoughts. I can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Okay, we finally get some rewards. I got, like, a waste. Wait, is this one? What the fuck? Increase the healing from the health stone and rage and gear. Hmm. I don't know. But it's stronger. Well, my defense. Yeah, I, I wait. Let me get how much? How much I gotta kill? How much ravens I gotta kill for this one? Oh, I need to kill like four more. Hey, I'll take those Kavasir poems off you. Sometimes I like to get gushed, try to make heads or tails of them. Okay. What's over here? There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Nah, it's training. I don't want to do that. It means seeing more raiders come back as hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah, sorry, Mimir. I still love her. Ah, oh, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. <laughs> he was waiting. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here, do you know about a Tosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. You know, he's kind of weird with the fucking squirrel talk to me. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Wait, what What do you help me with? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct! She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. 
Neethog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <laughs> well, good luck out oh. there. Oh my god. Alright, let's go to Ippelheim. The same Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seem better now, Father. <laughs> Did they now? Whoa, 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 whoa. I wanna know. It sounds like they're not they're not better. They're they're like they're evil or something. Alfheim. It's been oh. so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Is it? Yeah, it's winter here. Fuck. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Broken history. Graffiti in the Dark Elf's territory, next to the statue of their ancestors. The elves before the division of light and dark, the message being that exactly, and for who? Either the elves has been seeing the statues and ignore it, or they're more concerned with the mastery over the light. Mastery over the light. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Are we gonna fight the light elves too? Or are we still gonna fight the dark elves? Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. Uh was this a dark elf? Attacked by the light elves? A living desert. Huh. Jewel of Alfheim are, is our most sacred and fertile desert, teeming with an unequal diversity of life from the majestic Huga and their delicate song in the sand, the wide array of turtles, what the fuck, and lizards found in the pitch art, I don't know, and the abundant herds of gazelles in Ibex, roaming in the shifting dunes. All creatures of deserts are given breath by the grace of light. Take a moment and witness the grandeur. And reflect. Keep well, they realm. What the fuck? I don't know, I believe I'm gonna fight the light elves now. Cause I'm seeing more of the dark elves like dead here than the light elves like God of War uh not one, but the fourth one. PlayStation 4. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Wanna check it out? What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Shit. There you go. Yeah, once it's right there, I can't reach it. This one's supposed to be close. Oh, yeah. What 
the fuck how the fuck I resell the win? There. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. My frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Uh <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Hell yeah, we like loot. <laughs> you never know, we find like a legendary weapon in these loot. That someone must have like in hiding. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. I hear a fucking raven. Where is this fucking bastard? Fuck, I want to kill it. Oh, it's right there. There we go. Freya had a brother. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, shit. Oh. I didn't know it could do that. Watch the exploding one! Wait, that's the exploding one! Oh, fuck! Did I put that in there? Let me check this place. Oh. Wait, that, that's where I have to go. It's down here, then. Oh shit. Oh, oh, shit. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. Oh. More inspiring yes. lyricism from the mind of Kvasia. Did, did, did that little shit just fucking laugh? It sounds like it was laughing. <laughs> ah, that's light. I was hoping we'd find the, like, the heavy one. Is it change? No, I thought it changed. Let's put that. Uh, oh. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Hey, where's the butt? There has to be a butt. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. No! Ah, this is a light on. We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Hey, Alphonse. Oh, 
most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, man. I knew that they fucking this is the light elves would attack us. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. How the fuck I break those? I still don't have the thing to break these. Fuck. So right here. tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate. Built to promote cooperation between the elves, but it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And Tyr, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we?